gather all the equipment you require to perform the test. Ensure you have a pair of gloves, an alcohol wipe, some cotton gauze, and a lancet. From the box, you will need the analyzer, pouch number one, and pouch number two. Before the testing begins, explain the procedure clearly to the patient and ensure you have obtained their consent. Open pouch number one and stand the diluent bottle up, placing the blood collector on the table. Remember not to open pouch two until you have completed all the steps for pouch one. Check the patient's hands are warm clean and relaxed. If they are too cold, it might be difficult to obtain an adequate sample of blood. To warm the hands, ask the patient to rub them together or wash them in warm water. Ask the patient which finger they would like the sample to be taken from. Ideally, this will be the middle finger on their non-dominant hand. Clean it with an alcohol wipe to remove any possible fats, grease or soap residues. Then dry the finger thoroughly with cotton gauze as the alcohol could affect the accuracy of the results. Holding the finger from the base, push the lancet firmly on the finger to puncture the skin. Ideally, this should be at the side of the fingertip, about five millimeters from the nail bed, as there are less nerve endings here and it will be less painful for the patient. Dispose of the used lancet in a suitable sharps bin. Wipe away the first drop of blood, as this may contain tissue fluid. Apply pressure along the finger, but don't press near the puncture site, as this may affect the sample. Collect the blood by touching the tip of the blood collector into the blood drop. Do not smudge the blood or try to scoop the blood up. Give some gauze to the patient and ask them to firmly apply pressure to stop the bleeding. Ensure you have collected the correct amount of blood sample. Mix the dilution bottle and blood collector six to eight times. After this, stand the bottle on its end while you prepare pouch number two. Open pouch number two and remove the cartridge inside. Ensure the codes match on the cartridge and analyzer and insert the cartridge until you hear it click. Wait for the screen to display sample with a flashing blood drop. Now remove the grey cap from the diluent bottle. Apply the sample to the cartridge with a quick press and release motion. When you hear the click, it will allow the exact amount of sample to be inserted. Dispose of the dilution bottle in the clinical waste bag. Do not move the analyzer once the sample has been inserted into the cartridge. After five minutes, the meter will display three messages. QC OK meaning the analyzer has passed all of its internal quality controls, the blood test result, and finally, how many tests you have left on the analyzer. It will cycle through these three readings for about 40 minutes before turning itself off. Remove the cartridge with gloved hands and dispose in a clinical waste bag. Finally, share the results with the patient and record them in their notes.